In this video, we're going to order and compare integers. We're going to start by ordering a set of integers from least to greatest. When we order integers, one of the ways that we can help ourselves is to use a number line. On the number line, all the numbers to the right of zero are positive, and all the numbers to the left of zero are negative. The positive numbers are always larger than the negative numbers. Also, as you move to the right on the number line, the numbers get larger, and as you move to the left on the number line, the numbers get smaller. So to help us order this set of numbers, we're going to plot them on the number line. So the numbers that I'm going to plot are 20, which I'm just going to put a circle on each number on the number line, negative 5, which will be between negative 4 and negative 6, negative 2, 12, negative 18, 3, and negative 11. Once my numbers are plotted on the number line, then I can order them. The numbers that are the smallest are going to be farthest to the left. They're going to be the farthest away from zero on the left-hand side. So we have negative 18 first, and then negative 11, and then negative 5, and then negative 2. So those are all the negative numbers. Even though it looks like 18 would be larger than 2, when we're working with negative numbers, it actually works in reverse. The larger the negative number, the farther it is away from 0 on the number line, which means that the smaller it is. So negative 18 is smaller than negative 2, and that's why it comes first, because we're ordering from least to greatest. So after we've ordered our negative numbers here, then we can order our positive numbers, which you're probably used to doing. So we have 3, 12, and then 20. So this set of numbers in order from least to greatest is negative 18, negative 11, negative 5, negative 2, 3, 12, and 20. Okay, so using the number line is a great way to help you order the numbers, especially when we're talking about negative numbers. Let's take a minute and compare integers, again, using the same number line. We're going to use inequality symbols, which are the less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. We're going to use these symbols to help us compare the following numbers, 5 and 10. Now, I put this one here just to get us used to using the inequality symbols, but you know that when you compare any two positive numbers, we're going to use the same rules. 5 is less than 10, so we're going to say that 5 is less than 10. Um, we can also compare positive and negative numbers. So here we have 9 and negative 12. The rule of thumb is, and I'll just plot them on here, 9 and negative 12. Whenever you're comparing a positive number with a negative number, the positive number is always greater. Positive numbers are always greater than negative numbers. So 9 is greater than negative 12. Our next one becomes a little harder because we're comparing two negative numbers. So here we have negative 13 and negative 5. If I plot them on my number line, I have negative 13 here and negative 5 here. The one thing that you can do is look to see which one is farther away from 0. Negative 13 is farther away from 0. That means that it's less than negative 5, which is a little closer to 0. So I would say that negative 13 is less than negative 5. And again, it's important to remember that the farther away from 0 on the number line, if you're working in the negative side, the smaller the number. 
The last one is negative 8 and negative 18. Again, here's negative 8 and here's negative 18. So negative 18 is farther away from 0, which means that it is smaller. So we can say that negative 8 is greater than negative 18. So when you're comparing negative numbers, you want to actually think of the opposite. If it looks like it's the larger number and it's negative, it's actually the smaller number because it's farther away from 0 on the number line.